My name is Klaus Werner and I'm a child neurologist here at Golisano Children's Hospital at SUNY Upstate Medical University. Upstate is one of 25 national centers of the Neuronex network conducting studies of treatments for neurological diseases. 15 Neuronex sites, including Upstate, are currently conducting a biomarker study for infants with type 1 spinal muscular atrophy. Infants less than six months are urgently needed for this observational research study to identify biomarkers in spinal muscular atrophy type 1, which is the number one genetic killer of young children and occurs in nearly one out of every 6,000 births. Spinal muscular atrophy is a progressive neurological disease affecting both infants and children. Infants born with SMA suffer from severe muscular weakness and atrophy, which is a decrease in muscle mass. Muscle weakness in SMA is due to the death of nerve cells called motor neuron cells that connect the brain to muscle. Putting this into simple language, infants with SMA become progressively weaker with the disease eventually affecting every muscle in the body, hindering the ability to sit swallow, eat, and finally to breathe. SMA is caused by mutation in the survival motor neuron gene. We understand now that these mutations result in a decrease of a protein called SMN, which is crucial to the function of the motor neurons. Without this protein, motor neurons in the spinal cord break down and die. Biomarkers are laboratory measurements reflecting the activity or stage of a disease process. We hope to learn and understand how babies with SMA develop compared to children of the same age without SMA. For this important study, we are recruiting both healthy babies and babies with SMA under the age of six months. Study visits would include physical examination, blood tests and tests of nerve function which will be performed over a total of seven visits until the age of two. This study does not involve any treatment but we hope that this study will lead to improved treatment of babies with SMA by identifying how these children change over time and determining the best way to measure these changes so that we will be able to identify the best time to intervene with treatment. I do thank you for your attention and interest to this indeed very important study which will help current and future generations of babies born with SMA.